Good afternoon, it's Adil Fazal here, market analyst at CFDs.com, bringing you a review of the European markets for Monday's trading session, the 17th of October 2016. Signals and mark market updates can be uh, sought uh, from leading providers uh, at Trade Signaler, uh, the Trade Signaler app. You can download the app from the Google Play and the Apple App Store. Okay, now let's try and decipher exactly um, what's happening uh, with the markets today and what certainly unfolded. Now, it started off with the Asian session. Certainly uh, weaker overnight, you had the Nikkei down, the Hang Seng and the Shanghai down quite heavily as well. Uh, I think we had uh, the China uh, B stocks down almost 6% at one time, so 6% reversal. Now, an impressive sell-off. So certainly we're seeing or witnessing weakness there, okay? Now, oil as well is under pressure, it's below $50, okay? Uh, the Aussie, the Kiwi certainly have held well so far. Uh, the dollar certainly finding weakness post the uh, comments from Yellen on Friday. And one would have expected uh, dovish comments from he uh, Yellen to actually have uh, helped keep keep the market afloat. Uh, the European markets, uh, again, on the back of the weaker Asian session, certainly finished down as well. You had the FTSE down almost a percentage point. You had the German DAX down, the CAC down as well, uh, between 07 to 0.5%. In terms of economic data flow today, we had the, the main mover early. Uh, was the uh, the actual uh, German, well not German, but the European uh, CPI data that may basically came in more or less in line. Uh, we had German Buber monthly report, but the market certainly didn't focus on that. We had the UK CB leading uh, actual econ index, which actually came in flat. Okay, we had Mr. Broadbent speak and uh, no real um, importance in terms of uh, market direction. Mr. Fisher as well really was more of a neutral and then we have Mr. Draghi speaking at uh, half past six. So again, uh, our focus will uh, will be on that potential uh, potential speech as to what he has to us to say. Okay, so now. Uh, <coughs> Okay, so let's look at the actual uh, technical picture now, and let's see where this market is technically set up, given the fact that Asian markets certainly have been exerting pressure. We did have uh, US data out uh, again. Uh, we also had uh, Pearson, the earnings from Pearson, certainly on the weaker side, sending the FTSE 100 lower as well. Okay, so let's look at the actual technical picture now. Technically uh, speaking, the German DAX, let's see exactly where we stand on the daily chart. At the moment, it's inside bar consolidation. So therefore, I'm expecting the bulls certainly to be remaining in control here. 60 minute chart, we've had this pullback that is an unfilled gap below that certainly market is vulnerable to. So bear that in mind, you have an unfilled gap at 10.414, currently trading 10.490 after hours, okay? In terms of the uh, actual French CAC, let's bring the French CAC up for you again. You have potential support here at 4.440, currently trading around that 4.440 zone after hours. Daily chart on the French CAC, again, it's an inside bar. Again, bear that in mind, consolidation, no real overt sell-off. Okay, if we do flush, then obviously you have the unfilled gap at 4,400 to potentially close. FTSE 100, again, like I said, FTSE was certainly one of the weakest links today, and mainly led down by the price of oil breaking below $50 and failing to hold above 50, okay? Uh, certainly exerting pressure there. And also we had a weaker earnings from Pearson as well, certainly exerting pressure there as well okay so <clears throat> interesting okay now adding the fact that china obviously was sold off as well now we are coming into this key support zone on the FTSE around the 6930 6940 and that level of certainly needs to be watched 60 minute chart the key zone really is here at 6940 and dip below to 6930 and that's the max if that cracks then you are looking at the next potential support opening up which at six six uh, six eight twenty six eight uh, six seven seventy so certainly does open up a cell vacuum on the FTSE if that were to uh, crack and break below so bear that in mind okay it's important okay now in terms of the euro stocks let's just bring up the euro stocks give you an insight there as well okay so daily chart the euro stock certainly has put in a potential uh, reversal candle looking for consolidation bullish car bar consolidation then looking to potentially move a higher up to 3060 60 minute chart we've certainly had the pullback okay certainly had the pullback so therefore looking for support here now around the uh, 3000 level so 3000 certainly will act as solid support for the european euro stocks if the markets certainly do turn very bearish
then you are looking at 2975 gap fill below. Okay, folks, bear that in mind. Okay, so I think that's a good summation from my perspective. Certainly looking for a FTSE rally, though. Uh, again, certainly into a key, key support zone. Hit the 200 MA as well, and therefore looking for a bounce. Okay, folks, on that note. So be sure to visit cfds.com for your trading needs and certainly take advantage of the bonus. Goodbye now.